Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls V. This is Skywalker, and we are still looking looking for the horn of Jurgen Windcaller in this place. I think it's called Ustingrav. Where in the how in the heck do I get back there? I really want to know because there's a chest back there, but. I am at a loss for words on this particular thing, so we are probably going to leave it behind, and we are going to, wow, oh crap, alright, I gotta go back around, Lydia, out of my way, out of my way, is there a door back here, no, no, is there a door back here, no, not back here, is there a door? No, it just goes down. Uh-oh. Okie I see I think I see a word of power down here, so let's check it out. Oh yes. You hear the chanting. Wonderful, wonderful. Fade become ethereal. We'll check that out uh, momentarily. As if the thing can load. Would you load? Are you loading or not loading? No, I don't want to look at my map. Where are my shout powers? We have picked up. We haven't used slow time yet. We gotta do that. Become ethereal. The, let's see. The Thum reaches out to the void, changing your form to one that cannot harm or be harmed. So it's like an invulnerability of sorts. That sounds nice. We don't have any Dragon Souls to equip that yet or make it available to us, so we'll have, we're going to have to move on from there. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and check underneath the water. Maybe not. Because it's not even taking up to check it out. Oh, wow. Alright, behind the waterfall works. Whoa. Alright. We're gonna put on the shield and the Iron Mace of Embers for this guy. Come here, buddy. Nine gold. Alright, so be behind this waterfall we have found a chest. Let's open it up. There is an orcish mace that sells for 105. That is cool looking. We'll pick that up. We got 17 gold, a petty soul gem. What's this down here? Iron sword. That's all she wrote. Cool. We're going back upstairs and across that bridge. I've seen a chest back there in a room, but I can't access it some, somehow. Um, we could check the map. Let's see here. It was back there somewhere, wasn't it? Somewhere back there? I don't know. Let's see. What is this? Ustingrav. Okay. Our horn is way the heck over here. Wow. All right. Oh, yeah. We can go across this bridge. Question is, how do we get up there? That's what I want to know. Um, let's check the map one more time. Wow. They are teasing me with that. Well, I don't really want to take the time to search for that now, so we're just going to continue across the bridge. arrows, potion of minor healing, two gold potion of minor healing, we're picking up quite a few potions of minor healing, that is a good thing, because we'll always need them, alright, there wasn't much up 
up here. That's nice. Whoa, what's going on with that? Oh, these open the doors back there. One, two, and three. Let's head through. Can't make that in time. One, two, and three. We're gonna run. If, if we can't run, we'll have to use our shell. One, two, three. All right, I know just the trick. We've got our whirlwind sprint. Lydia might be left behind. Who knows what's gonna happen? All right, here we go. Yeah. And they open for her, but they'll close for me. Interesting. Unless she pulled the switch, I didn't even see her pull. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I think those are more <coughs> trapped. They're not even working. Stay off these uh, kind of tiles because they're traps. Are you alright? Stay off these tiles. We got some spiders to take care of. Let's uh, use our. What is it? Uh, Unrelenting Force Shell. No! There we go. Take those spiders down, stick their venom. Taking some spider eggs for some potions, just like dear old mama used to do, so. A corpse. Statues came up. I don't know if they're a trap or anything. No, no, everything's good. A mysterious note. What is this down here? We're supposed to read this note. Let's see. Meet with whoever took the horn. So someone has taken the horn. Let's see. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you. A friend. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. So someone's already grabbed the darn thing. Can we take this? Let's take that. Alright. Someone beat us to it. We've been to Riverwood. That was one of the very first cities uh, we ever went to after we escaped Helgen and our execution after that dragon landed and let everyone escape. Whoever didn't get eaten or burnt alive. Bone meal gold. Iron shield. Onyx circlet. We'll take the onyx circlet. Look at that. Wow. Alright. Well, we got a door back here. Let's go in. Okay. A lot of empty chests. Or empty urns, rather. Oh, 
133 gold potion of stamina. Scroll of mayhem. Necklace of smithing. Weapons and armor can be improved 15% better. I like that. That's something we're going to have to learn one of these days. We'll take that. We'll leave that. We'll take all those golds in here. Came in that way, so I guess we're going upwards. All right. So we made out like a freaking bandit in here. We got ourselves a new word of power. We got a bunch of potions, soul gems. Uh, we picked up a skill point or two. What else did we pick up? We got, uh, I don't know, probably over like 600 gold. And we came in with five, I believe, so that's good. We're one thing short, and it's that, that horn. Hopefully, the person at the Riverwood uh, Inn will give us that horn once we get back to Riverwood. So we're going to head there as soon as we can exit this place. We'll fast travel. Here's the That is horrendous to remember. Might as well be Atari. I don't know why they sell this to people. This used to look better, I know for a fact. I don't know why patches do this to people, but uh, it happens. Alright, another chest. Yes, 17 gold. A lot of potions. Oh, that one's empty. Empty. Ooh, some potions over here. Where's the door? Isn't there a extra door? Oh, here we go. There's a bunch more in here. Good lordy, 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 lordy. Let's search all these urns. For a good reason, too, you know? of Talona too. Oh, it increased our restoration. Talara, Talara, I think. Let's flip through this right quick so all of those of you that are interested can do so, can read it if you'd like. If I'm going too fast for you, uh, you're always welcome to hit the pause button on any page and I'm not going anywhere until you hit the play button, so that's why I take my time to go through these. Okay, that's practically all she wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, another potion. None of the tankards or plates or bowls. About this, is there anything in there? Nope. Gold healing. All right, that should be everything. Wait, there's something on there. Canis root will take with us. Okay, I recognize this area. We've already done some damage here. Let's go ahead and put our weapons away. Woo! We're free, free! Alright, let's find out who this sneaky thief is. 
We're going to head to Riverwood and rent that attic room in a second. And hopefully this person is, um, is going to play nice. Hope there's no assassination attempts on our life. I mean, we've seen one or two already. Like those cultists that came bearing news about Borak or something like that, Revok or whoever the true Dragonborn is supposed to be. Riverwood, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Down here. Way down here. Okay. What Here is we are at the Riverwood. Nothing big feller. Let's go to the Riverwood Trader. I, th I believe that's what the note said. Or not the Trader, but the, the inn. The inn, the inn, the inn. Here we are. I think. Yep. Into the sleeping giant inn at Riverwood. I really want to make it back to the Greybeards and see what happens after I finish my third trial they have given me and then shortly after that we'll have to report back to the Imperials in solitude we've uh, left them waiting ever since the battle at Whiterun I think okay I'm supposed to rent this room I'm the innkeeper it's my business to keep track of strangers right I'd like to rent the attic room attic room eh well we don't have an attic room but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Auxiliary. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's Hadvar. Speaking of the Imperials. Dragonborn, huh? Was it your ma or your pa that was the dragon? <laughs> was it your ma or pa that, that was the dragon? That's funny. All right, I guess we're gonna sleep. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Do we just sit here? Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar. So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Battles in gold he had made. Jeez, Lydia. All right, Lydia's gonna stay right here. I've got your back. What? Wait here, Lydia. I will remain on guard here. Alright. Oh, so we got the horn from her. She gave us the horn already. Now I think it's high story. time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came flashing and we can talk. Steel, as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of sea. She's got a false back. False back wardrobe. Kind of cool. All no oh, cloak and dagger. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. She got a lot of weapons down here. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Okie dokie, so she gave us the horn, which is good. Um, she appears to be pretty peaceful. Let's see. The Greybeards are right. Sorry, I'm supposed to be meeting someone. You're the one who took the horn. I'm gonna ask. Surprised? Say. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Um. Here I am, what do you want? What's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Um... What do you want with me? Okay, I just came here for the horn. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. 
I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Coming right up. Um, I'm gonna say go on, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. How do I know I can trust you? I think I'm going to say, see, why do you take the horn from Ustengrav? I'm going to say that. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. How do I know I can if you don't trust, trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Okay, um, why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? We have indeed seen that in the past. Um, I'm gonna say... Let's see, let's see. Yes, that's how I first learned I was Dragonborn, or I absorbed some kind of power from dragons, that's all I can say. Let's say we're getting a little more confidence on this fact. I'm gonna pick the top one. Yes, that's how I first learned I was Dragonborn. Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Alright, you said the Thalmor are after you. Let's find out about that. Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. So what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Huh, what makes you think dragons are coming back to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there. And you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Oh my, so she's got a proposition for us. She wants us to go kill a dragon with her so she can witness witness it in, uh, in first hand what happens when I kill one. And then she'll tell me anything I want to know about all, all the dragons. And apparently dragons are coming back to life. They weren't just hibernating somewhere. Someone's resurrecting dragons. Um, how did you figure this out? I'm going to say that. You should know. You got the map for me. The Dragonstone you got for Faringar, remember? You were at Dragon Reach when I gave it to him? You know, she did have the same voice, kind of. So you were paying attention. I arranged to have Faringar recover the Dragonstone for me. It's what I do. I make things happen from behind the scenes. After all, here you are. The Dragonstone is some kind of map. Yes. A map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, starting in the Geralds near Riften. The one near Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. All right, so where are we heading? Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. All right, completed talk to Delphi and me to locate the dragon burial site. I'm going to tell her, okay, let's go kill a I dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute, and I'll be ready. Okay, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to actually make it here to this episode. But uh, apparently we're both going to Kynesgrove. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. She wants to see our ability in action. As far as taking the soul from the dragon when it dies. And then she's got more information for us. She's been tracking the reappearance Orknar, of dragons. I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. 
So she knows more than we do. So not only can we learn from the Greybeards, but apparently we can learn from Delphine. Or Delphine, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce her name. I'm going to see if I can get to Kynesgrove as fast as possible so we can see what there is to see there. Kynesgrove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. All right, if my analysis is correct. The dragon buried near Kynesgrove will be the next right. to come back to life. I'm going to go to the map. I'm going to meet her there. Where is Kynesgrove? Kynesgrove is... Right there. Okay, we'll go to the Windhelm Stables because it's going to save us some time. You know, I like to end these episodes around 30 minutes and I'm getting close to that mark. So hopefully by the time we get to our objective, she will run up or be waiting for us when we're there. And apparently she's, uh, again, narrowed it down to where a dragon's actually going to be resurrected. They're not being born. They're not waking up from from hibernation. They are coming back from the dead. So that's that's an interesting twist. That opens up some possibilities. Alrighty, let's see here. Down south. Not too much farther now. Time to just down the road to the southeast. Oh wow. She's, yeah, she's with me. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I left Lydia behind. I totally forgot. I left her in that room. We'll have to remember to pick up Lydia later. For now, we're going to follow Delphine and, um... I hope you're Dragonborn. I really do. But we'll find out soon enough. She doesn't altogether trust me. This is Kynes Grove. Not much to look at. The innkeeper ought to be able to tell us if there's any dragon mound nearby. Alright, so we're supposed to head to the innkeepers. Where am I going? Am I going to the left? We have discovered Kynes Grove. Here comes someone. No! You don't want to go up there! A dragon! It's attacking! Dragon, where is where is this dragon? It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Come on, hurry. We might be too late. There's one. Sitting up there doing something. I heard him speaking a little while ago. Okay, so we're supposed to duck. Kill the 
dragons. You don't even know our tongue, do you? Such arrogance to dare take for yourself the name of Nova. Zarukanir, Kridar Jur. Hold on. What's that? All right, guys, with that, I am going to end this episode. We will have to wait until next time to see what's going on with that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this right now. We just witnessed one dragon resurrect another, and it talks in both uh, dragon language and our own language. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so we will tackle this dragon next episode. We will uh, prove ourselves to Delphine, and we will hear what she has to say. And we'll most likely, most likely be uh, reporting back in with the Imperials and also the Greybeards. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this. This has been Skywalker, and I will see you guys next episode.